Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sona Pon 7. It's time for our first conversation. And I'm so excited to engage with um, Ms. Chanel Ashford, the author of Travel Belize. And because I am so excited because her book has been endorsed by the Ministry of Blue Economy and Civil Aviation and the Belize Tourism Board. It is rich, rich, rich when it comes to everything Belize, from archaeology to the barrier reef, to culture, to food, everything. So it's definitely something that is worth having in your home, not just for kids, but adults. Because, I mean, anybody can get entertained with an activity book and learn and something you about learn your country. Something and you know, like painting and doing that kind of thing really is meant, it's good for your mental health. So let me stop right there. Ash, uh, Chanel, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us via Zoom. I gotta say, you look absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, Your earrings, darling. your eyes, everything. Good morning. Just you guys are amazing. Out. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? It's Friday. How is your Friday vibe? It is Friday fun day and it is going well. I'm so thankful to be able to be a part of the show. You guys are doing a wonderful job. Awesome. Thank you. Thank I just you so I need to big up that. your earring, Chanel. Your, your earrings be popping, girl. And the nails. Yes. Show it. And people the nails. wouldn't even zoom into their earrings, man. Their earrings be gorgeous, girl. Wow. I love it. You need to tell, you need to put me upon from wherever you get it from. I want a pair for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring you some. I'll be bringing you some. <laughs> I love it here, oh, guys. Sure. I love it here. Love it. As I shall receive. <laughs> there we go. That's how but, it works. So, Chanel, let's get into these books because I know you have, there's a first book which is Kevin has over there that says, Color Me, right? And yes. then there's a second book which is Travel Belize. So, we're going to get into both of them talking a little bit about, you know, how did the first one come to be? Then how did the second one come to be? And, you know, what has been the feedback like? But so, let's start off with, what was the need for you to think, hey, I need to make a coloring book, but... I'm going to do a twist. I'm going to make it different because I'm going to teach people about Belize in so many different dynamic ways about, you know, our history, about our culture, about, you know, the arm. What, what, what else do you want? I'll give me the second them because I'm a lot of things you name out. Uh -huh. <laughs> we talk about the keys. We talk about the drums. We talk about ecotourism. We talk about fishing. Guys, I just go down because she has, like, for every letter, she has something there explaining with the iguana, with the jaguar, with the creole, with the lighthouse, wow. mangroves, with yes. the nerve shark. Every single thing. So what made you think, you know what? I'm going to do it like that. I'm, a, I'm going to give a different essence. Well, the book, it's, uh, the Travel Belize book is truly an extension of our first book, The Color Me JBC. We started with that one because we, as when I got diagnosed with hyperthyroid Graves' disease, um, I realized that nutritional health is so essential. It's so important. And the, the basics of it, the foundational information that you get from knowing your fruits will give you more of a chance to try it. So I know that starting young and giving people an exposure of those fruits was so important to helping them build and develop their own personal wellness and their own health. So that book truly inspired this book. We especially focus on fruits from Belize. We have soursop, we have tamran, we have noni, we have velvet apple, we have so many amazing, healthy and nutritional fruits from Belize in that book. So when we started to do our research and looking at what the health benefits were for that one, we were like, Belize is amazing. You know, as growing up as a member of the diaspora, you get snapshots. When I would come and visit Belize, I would spend time with my grandparents and my cousins and my uncles. And I would just get these brief little exposure before I had to travel back to Los Angeles. And I realized that so many experiences I was missing out on. I didn't get to experience going to school in Belize or go as an as an older person. I went when I was little. I went to Sun Hill Preschool. So I got an amazing experience there. But from on learning and going through different things in Belize, I didn't get to get that exposure. So building my cultural pride, it, it happened later in life. And I truly wanted to make sure that when I have kids, I had a resource, an educational guide for them to be able to connect to Belize and for them to learn about Belize. And I knew that I had to do my research. So they, the both of the books, they tie straight hand in hand with just wanting to develop my own cultural experience and also extend that to people as well. Wow. Wow. Chanel, I mean... Who would have thought that, you know, from, from the, the, the thyroid um, condition that you have would have influenced you to be able to develop this amazing and, and colorful and vibrant work? I'm picking up also that you're a special education teacher. And, and that's very important because on your book that you've developed with the Color Me JBC, like it has so many options where people can learn Spanish by coloring and participating in this book. But you can also like trace letters and learn how to like improve your penmanship and that kind of thing. It's 
Wow, girl, you are a superstar. <laughs> like you thought of everything, you just like that a little bit, but it's not overwhelming too as well, which is I think is super important because sometimes you're gonna get a book like that where you're hearing all these stuff and be like, I don't know what to start, but the way how it's is digestible. So you when you start yeah. in it, you, you're getting excited because you're wondering what's the next page gonna bring. Like, what is the next page gonna bring? Yeah. So Chanel, yes, I mean, yeah. we're definitely advocating and, and and pushing this book out there for for persons that wanna engage and learn more about your work, but also learn more about their country. So where can they find this book? How was the cost of it? Give us those details, please. So the book is is outstanding in that we were able to eco-partner with several people, including Angelus Press. And the printing company at Angelus Press has been truly amazing in helping us put this book on all the shelves throughout Belize countrywide. So it's available at all the Angelus Press locations. It's also available on Amazon. And at we have 116 local Belizean businesses that we were able to highlight in this book. Wow. So all of these businesses from everything from handcrafted jewelry to resorts to restaurants to soaps to amazing amazing local locally grown amazing products there the book will be available with them as well and our eco partners we were able to work with the ministry of blue economy and civil aviation with btb with the ministry of tourism and diaspora relations with the belize resort collection and a C Belize, which is an amazing Southern Environmental Association of Belize that looks after Gut and Split and Silk Key, They're, all of them will have these books available with, that, with them at their location. So they'll be able to cross-promote it and the, the book will be available everywhere. Yeah, it's definitely something that um, any visitor can get a souvenir to Belize. That's what I'm thinking, right? So people pick up their Marie Sharp or their rum, but also now you can pick up a travel Belize and take it as a souvenir to something that you I'm thinking people give you with this yeah. and then that makes you want yeah. to come to Belize because like you're really it's traveling so through it's Belize so when you're going rich. through the pages. It excites you to be like, man, I need to go to the Jewel by the Caribbean Sea if nothing else. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yep. We've gotten such an amazing reaction from the diaspora. We have con countries and states that I didn't even know Belizeans were located throughout the U.S. and looking at getting it as a part of the social studies curriculum because wow. we have this... Amazing, amazing resource that now people who are just interested in Belize or anyone who loves Belize itself, they're able to pick up the book and say, hey, look, look at my country, look at what this is and be able to learn about it, especially if you have a connection and you want to enhance it or build on it. You're able to take a look at the book and see yourself represented in the book. So it's truly, truly a passionate project and, a, and a, from the heart. So I'm so excited that you love it. And I want yes. you guys to color it while you're there. <laughs> oh, yeah, we definitely we actually it. have coloring. We have coloring and you everything. I'm, I don't want you to know I love coloring. It's like therapeutic it's and everything. Therapeutic indeed. So I really want to encourage people out there that are wondering, you know, they like to color as well and they find it as something very soothing, calming. Guys, if nothing else, please get the Travel Belize book for yourself because it's going to help you to color. You're going to be able to learn so much. Yeah. You could teach people and be like, Kevin, you may know X, Y, and Z. Like you could go off and tell people. Uh -huh. You may know this fun fact. Exactly, exactly. Yes. And, and, and if you're looking for like inspiration, how to color stuff, it encourages to go and visit different spaces. So it'd be like, mm. oh, now I know how the the turtle looks. So let me put these colors into place because mm -hmm. it motivates you to get out there and get and get the concept of things. Wow, Chanel, you are absolutely brilliant. This is so. Wow. So you, yeah. so you've, you've, we've seen you develop uh, the Color Me JBC, the Travel Belize. What's next for you? Well, we are looking at a full curriculum. So I am all about diversity. I'm all about cultural awareness. And my biggest thing is my home, my Belize. So I want to create a full workbook um, focused on Belize aging from, from primary school because the foundational schools are the foundational skills are so important. So that's what's next. We're looking at creating a full thick size workbook that has all of Belize represented throughout it, just like the Travel Belize book and the fruits as well. So a combination of all of that. And I loved how you guys were bigging up earlier. Did you guys know that? But it's the 10,000th birthday of the Belize Barrier Reef. Yes, we did know that. Yeah. I was invited to an event. That's why, <laughs> why I know too as well. So, right. And so exciting 10, stuff that people are supposed birth. to know about. Yes. I, I'm loving the fact that we're making this, like you're trying to push for a curriculum because personally for me, if I had a book like this when I'm in a school, I'm actually capable of social studies a lot more. 
honestly, like all fun and jokes aside, it's gonna be something that I was gonna be interested in coloring, interested in knowing about. And Kevin, you need to start coloring because we didn't do the interview. <laughs> I just want you to know my coloring, you know, it's not, it's therapeutic for me, but it's not necessarily beautiful for other people. <laughs> Anything yeah. that you do, anything that you put your mind to is beautiful. Tell her, think- tell her. That is true. <laughs> An art is abstract, right? So, you know, beauty is in the high yes, of the beholder and all these things. And that was one of the, the reasons why we included not only the picture of the animal, but gave you the coloring space because we want to encourage everyone to have their own Billy's ABCs for them to think of their own way that they would see this represented. So they don't have to exactly follow the pictures, but they can look at the, the space and create their own version of what they want to be seen in their book. So you can use it as a directive, but you can also be innovative and dynamic and unique in your own way too. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm just, you even have Q for catchy and all kind of stuff. You know, like when I'm going yes. through this thing, guys, like the, 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 the letters, because so if people are trying to understand how to coloring book, if you're not getting it by our conversation already, so there's <laughs> alphabets, right? And so you go along the alphabet for every single alphabet. Chanel has been so amazing that she picks out a representation from Belize for the alphabet. And then she has the picture there that you can be able to, you know, color based on that. And then she has a little synopsis of whatever that item is, whatever that thing is. So like for the keys, she has something about the keys. She has for the drums, for the baboons, about Alton Hafer A, you know, the great blue hole, all these different things. She has the picture there for you to color, but then also a synopsis. So you're really learning along the way yes. and you get to go to your alphabet. So you could be able to, 26 things basically about yeah. Belize. You didn't yeah. enjoy yeah. coloring over. I'm enjoying you, my coloring. You move fast though. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm going pretty well. Chanel, I am I am curious. You guys as, as a special education teacher, yeah. um, what is the value about having this 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 kind of like combination with education? You're coloring, you're learning some stuff. How does that contribute to the development and stimulation of a child's mind? So mentally, what you what you see when you have a book like this, you have access. It gives everyone access from all ages and all mental capacity. So what you see is you have the letter there, you have what it is, you have the reference picture, and then you have the creative space. So it's a multimodal way of interacting with learning. You take the 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 descriptions from the Travel Belize JBC book, uh-huh. and you look at it, and you're learning while you're also coloring. So it, it helps your brain make that connection. And we're all about making connections. We're all about building those bridges. So what you have is a a multi-tiered level of thinking that's happening while you're looking at the book. I love it. Interesting. That's that's really, that's really, really true. Like, um, you stimulate in in the many senses, you know? And And you know what? Go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, one of the things that we're doing with the book is we're actually bringing down a group of 15 travelers, some who are Belizean, some who haven't been back for over 40 years, to Belize as a culmination of the book, as a way to truly support ecotourism and sustainable travel. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be visiting some of these places that are in the book, the amazing businesses that are working with us. We're going to be having, taking them to the Keys, taking them to dive in the Blue Hole, taking them to visit some of the cultural artifacts and we're taking them to Alton Ha. And the book in itself is so dynamic and diverse. So each book that's purchased, we're actually able to give back to Belize directly to support ecotourism and continue to do this every single year. So the book itself is is gonna stimulate people to wanna come visit Belize in a sustainable way. When you learn about the culture, when you learn about the people, when you learn about some of the amazing places that you can visit, it makes you more culturally and uh, ecologically aware. So when you do come and visit, you have that background and you have that connection and that build, that bridge that's built through that. I wow. want to talk about that same beautiful. exact you know, like idea. Bringing um, people and getting them to know the places where you Yeah, learn. I want to talk exactly on the idea where, you know, the proceeds are going to be able to go back into Belize. So how much does the book cost? So people can know, book you know. In yeah, so the book in Belize right now is $15 at Angelus Press. And that price we were, Angelus Press is amazing. They are able to constantly work with me on creating affordable resources. And what happens is, is a percentage of 10% of each book that's sold goes directly back to Sea Belize so that they can continue to support their their ecotourism and their their maintenance of the, the keys that they support. Wow. Definitely. If you could talk to like the Belizeans, like you're saying right now, you're bringing in a group, but talk to the Belizeans that, you know, 
they maybe kind of got that disconnect from Belize when they left and migrated to go somewhere else, or maybe their children haven't gotten that real taste. Like, why do they really need to purchase this book? Because it's on Amazon too. So free people yes. from the diaspora can definitely get a hold of this. They can get their copy. It's not a problem. So can you talk to those people of why it's yes. such an importance? I don't even think it's just about, you know, getting it for getting it's sake. Um, I think it's an importance to get this book because of all of the history, all the important information it talks about. So could you tell us a little bit about what's your take on why we should be able to get it? Yes. So as a member of the diaspora, you, that means that you have roots in one place, but you're living in another place. So oftentimes you're in a confliction. You have to go along with what the society and what the world is happening around you exactly where you're living, but also knowing that you have these roots back home. So oftentimes you kind of lose that connection in a sense, because you're trying to keep up with the world around you. And the, when you come from such a beautiful place like Belize, it's often easy to forget, Hey, you know, I come from an amazing place. And despite yeah. the fact that there's all this controversy going on in this area, I still have this connection back to my roots, to my home. So anyone living in the diaspora, I, I completely understand how it's so, how it, how it becomes almost easy to forget that, you know, you have this connection and you have this, you have this, this draw and this connection to Belize. You have to enhance that and move with that. And I think that's an essential part of being a part of the diaspora. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. And and what a good what what a better way to go back and remembering your roots than by painting, you know? Hey, Chanel, let me show you what I've painted. So I gotta say thank you for um the guide, because I was like, how do I paint a dragon fruit? I mean, I have it in mind, <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, thank you so much for having that guide there. It really is. It's beautiful. Me. Thank you. I love it's it too. Beautiful. I just want to troll that the yes. travel Belize one is a little bit different because it's more detailed. Okay. So I I was trying to, yeah, so. I feel like the travel Belize one is a little bit more detailed. Oh, so that's your excuse. I don't want I I, I was that's gonna show excuse. mine. I was gonna show mine, but all I have is gray <laughs> yes. because I'm doing a waterfall and I was trying to get the rocks. And James <laughs> don't say how that my one the Kong because I need to draw harder. So like it's oh. not it's not working, guys. All I have is gray. It doesn't look like I did anything, but I promise I did. Like uh, I, I was I'm doing totally, something. totally, absolutely enjoying this. And I recommend <laughs> to anybody that you know you want to have a little time for yourself. Go ahead and grab the <laughs> book. Do some painting. Give it to your kids. Give it to You could do it with your anybody. kids, actually. I yeah. think that would do be a really good kids. experience. The book is designed so that you can actually talk to your kids while you're mm -hmm. reading it. So you get the book. They have the image themselves so they can see it. They can do it themselves. But the actual description is great for all ages. Everyone can learn from it. So it's yeah. truly, truly an amazing, amazing resource that... That's great for everyone. Uh, I'm loving it. I think I'm going to do this with my nephew and then we're going to have a whole conversation because I probably am going to learn a lot also from this book. I'm reading stuff right now. I'm like, oh, I did not know that. I think I'm, I'm getting yeah, educated. So I'm that's what I'm myself. loving. You're keep, yes, I'm well, actually I'm not giving Kay John. I'm keeping it for myself, but I'm he can do it, it with me. See? <laughs> he can work. He can do it. <laughs> we can share it together. Yeah, knowledge. Chanel, thank you but, so you much know for what? this. It's, it's been so amazing that we've actually even been able to come up with a game. So just to kind of enhance that those fundamental skills from belief, from the travel beliefs, but we've been actually been able to create a full fledged game from it, and I have it with me. Oh, why didn't you send it? You guys here? like wait, the play? <laughs> oh, wait, we're gonna play this game. Is it gonna be? I'm gonna lose, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do this nope. anyways. Okay. You're gonna be great. <laughs> okay. So, the, so each letter of, of the alphabet is tied to a is to a tied to a personal memory. So the book, it's the game itself is you pick a card, and you have 20 seconds to name as many things about Belize and or anything that's connected to Belize from the game. Okay. okay? But All you right. can't say the letter that's on the card. So you guys have the alphabet in front of you, but you'll pick a letter. Can I use my book? Many, you. Well, hmm. I believe the no. book, you know, <laughs> teachers have the open book test. I feel like this could be one of the ideas there. You know what? <laughs> you, you can reference it, but you can't say the name that's on the card. So if you okay. get C, you can't say keys. Okay, got it. I okay. got it. You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do we have a choice? Your, <laughs> your first letter is T for Toucan. You're going first, or you're, is it me? Going, yeah. You guys can go together. We can go together, <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. So, um, talking catchy. <laughs> we're just supposed to like. We're supposed to just. We can't say the letter, right? You can't say the. You can't say T. Um, two can, but you can name as many things from Belize at with T. Okay, turtle. Um, hmm. let me see. Tamales. Tamales. Um, yes. 
tamalitos. Why, why are you saying <laughs> Busigal? But I mean, my tacos. <laughs> Tacos, tamales, tacos. Hold on, wait, you're going to go fast, Kev. I didn't try um, to think turtle. here. These are very hard letter. Tree. <laughs> um, turkey dinner, because turkey people dinner, love turkey yeah. dinner. Um, um, tam tam bran. Bran. Mm-hmm. Um, tam bran, yes. Um, toilet paper, because remember when we, had, <laughs> when we had COVID, there was that toilet paper incident where everybody made to buy toilet paper. That's true, that's make, true. Thank you, Chanel. See, I like her as a teacher. Yeah. Like, <laughs> What else? Um, Good job. <laughs> uh, all right, there you go. So all let's right, do one more I'll letter. Give you one more letter. One you more ready? letter, yeah. Yes. R for river. River. Rio Honda. Um, Raccoon. Rob. Rome. Um, what yes. else? Roma J. Roma J, yeah. Um, um, raccoon. raccoon. When I, when we got, got a cage, I mentioned my mother raccoon there. Raccoon, I remember that. Raccoon Street. Um, raccoon Police Station. <laughs> Let a raccoon. Um, what else? Re- Real talk. There's a show that. <laughs> um, um, As you can see, the, the game really stimulates yeah, wow. and think about all those memories and all of those things that you can truly, truly remember. So it's it's so much fun. I'm going to make sure I get you guys a copy to have. Please. Awesome. I'm awesome. so excited. Yes. I'm a big part of thank my you game. So much. I really enjoyed this conversation <laughs> with you and I, your amazing yeah. work. I am enjoying painting. I, I'm getting there. Like I kind of finished. So let me show you one more. What, what are you? It looks so nice. Dragon. That's really that beautiful. Is. It looks amazing. Thank you. So I'm gonna finish my waterfall later. I promise. Right. I promise. So Chanel, thank <laughs> yes. you so much. We look forward to your thank next you. conversation with you. We look forward to having you on the couch if you can make it at some point. But Definitely. we encourage everybody to go out and get yourself a copy of Travel Belize. It's available at every Angela's Press. So you definitely and, have and Amazon for the um, Amazon people from the well. diaspora. And Amazon for the diaspora. So important. So essential. Even having it as a part of the social studies curriculum is a crucial, crucial thing because the book itself is just such a great resource. It is. And I just want to tell you thank you for that so much for seeing the need and providing it because this is what we need, innovative ideas where we can learn, but in a creative and fun manner. I think that's what's the importance of the arts, where you can be able to learn and really digest it, but have fun doing it. And that's important because kids need to have fun when they learn. So thank you so much for providing that platform, for providing two different coloring books, and you're saying you're doing syllabuses soon and all of that. I'm just like, Everything. where you're going, Everything. I'm super, super thankful for it. And with that, we just want to thank you for your time. And when you're back in Belize, you know, the couch is for you. We're going to color coming. together and we're going to play the game. I'm coming with the earrings and I'm coming with the education. Woo, I'm earrings. loving love it. it. Yes, love yes. It. yes. <laughs> super. So Bye with that, guys. Happy Friday. All the best to you. Happy Friday. Thank you. It's- Thank you so much. And so with that, guys, we have to bid Chanel farewell and we go to a commercial break. When we're back, we're going to be having a very juicy conversation. Stay tuned for that exciting one. We'll be right back.